we really want all kids to be able to uh, participate in sport if they would like to. With back to school comes a return to sport, but for some children in Manitoba, it's not that simple. The child poverty rate in the province is among the highest in the country, so getting kids into sports isn't necessarily a priority. Fortunately, there is an organization that is looking to make sports possible for all kids in the province. Kids Sport is um, a program run by Sport Manitoba in Manitoba. And what we do is we provide financial aid to families who can't afford to register their kids in organized sport. So we grant up to $300 a year per kid. Like you want to be able to give an opportunity to, to every kid, but let's say we're talking about hockey, for example, which is obviously a pretty cost prohibitive sport. Um, without financial aid like that, there's different areas of the city that are just going to see lower numbers of participation due to that uh, inequity. With the pandemic taking its toll on children's physical and mental health, sports are even more important now to develop essential socialization skills. According to Canada Without Poverty, a report done in 2020 says one in five kids live in conditions of poverty across Canada, and with the financial burden of the pandemic, it's likely to be higher now. We know that in the past couple years, Lots of families have experienced financial hardship. We see more and more families that are applying for assistance. Anything that promotes like inclusivity, uh, camaraderie, working together, uh, it's huge for children's physical health, but also their mental health. And that's something that's been severely limited due to the pandemic. Precious and Isaac were both involved in community sports growing up. And to them, camaraderie and life lessons learned help shape who they are today. What it means being part of a team is being supported by um, by my friends and by the coaches, you know. I'm part of something in that we can build and grow together and um, become stronger as a team than uh, being separate, being, in, uh, being by ourselves. Just having organized sports around me. There's a lot of takeaways such as that you can't really, like you can do stuff by yourself, but it's always nice to have that support around you and that structure of just having people there to like overcome like obstacles in your life so yeah that's a so one of the takeaways and then just it's always nice to have like i guess like another family and while the physical benefits of sports are essential to keep children's bodies strong and healthy nichols harrison and hidalgo all emphasize that the other benefits may even outweigh the physical ones sport helps increase success in school so kids are going to be able to focus better um, they're going to have more motivation more energy to succeed in the classroom sport is also going to help us cultivate some leaders so we know when kids are involved in sports um, they're learning valuable lessons about teamwork leadership how to collaborate with other children dedication or commitment uh delayed gratification the good side of peer pressure right where where they're um holding each other accountable just to belong to something you can just see it in their overall body language their their uh, longing to communicate uh and just their ability to work alongside of other people that team atmosphere is something i think that a lot of youth long for in 2020 kids sport was able to get over 600 kids in manitoba into organized sports to apply for a confidential grant visit kidsportcanada.ca in winnipeg brianne foley city news